In this guide, I'm going to show you how I managed to play CS2 super smoothly on my low-end PC with all of the best settings, additional tweaks, and everything you need to squeeze out the best performance out of your PC. In the first place, go in the video, make sure that you switch actually your aspect ratio to 4 to 3, since these one are a lot lower than 16 by 9. And for me, the personal sweet spot is actually 1024 times 768, guys. Then you're gonna go under advanced video settings and make sure that player boost contrast is disabled. Wait for vertical sync now only makes sense if you're playing on 60 to 75 hertz. Then put everything else on the lowest possible. Texture for mode under billionaire, ambient occlusion and disabled, high dynamic range and performance guys, super important. And the only thing which I don't have entirely on the lowest is the fidelity FX super resolution mode. This one I have actually on quality. But if you're really struggling with performance, try to put it under balance. This one looks pretty decent still in my opinion and is actually more than enough to be considered playable. So guys, and I'm now going to show you how you can actually set your CS2 to high priority mode permanently, which is super important, especially if you're right now playing on a low end PC. What you want to do in the first place is go into your Windows search bar and search up the registry editor which you want to open. Up. Once you're in there, you want to paste in here into the top guys the following comment which is in the video description. Just simply replace it here with the top one and then you should find the image file execution options folder. Once you're in here, you want to right click, go under new, create a new key and name the key cs2.exe guys. So it has exactly the same name as the Counter-Strike 2 exe. Once you're in this folder, you're going to right click onto it again, go under new, make the new key and this one you're going to name then perf options. Just as you can see above it guys, I'm obviously not going to do it because I already have this key here in there. And once you're in here, you want to right click and create a new new default 32-bit value. And this one you're going to name CPU Priority Class. Basically just copy everything which I did here. And once you have it here then create it guys, you gotta double click onto it and make sure to actually set this value all the way up to 3 and keep it on hexadecimal and press OK. Now the next time you restart your PC, your CS2 is gonna automatically already be in high priority mode. And unless you change it again in your registry directly, it's gonna stay like that. In this next step now guys, go into your Windows search bar, type in the CMD, right click onto it, and run it as administrator. And this is exactly how it should look like that. What you wanna do the next step is go again into my video description from where you're gonna copy the following command which is parscfg, duplicate sheep and then the following code. Next up you're gonna go into Windows search bar again and type in the energy until you can find edit power plan. Then you're gonna click here under power options and make sure high performance is enabled. Then you're gonna click under change plan settings and once we're in here we're gonna go under change advanced power settings. In here now we have a bunch of options but what we want to do is go under processor power management, go under minimum processor state and put it to 100% guys. This is super important. Now we're gonna do the same one with the maximum processor state and put it as well to 100%. And and finally, processor performance, core parking over utilization, we're then gonna open up and make sure that this one is set actually to 100% as well so that we avoid having any park cores which are gonna slow down our PC and cost us performance, especially for CS2. Additionally, you can even go under PCI Express, link state power management, and make sure this one is actually set to off so that we have no power savings mode enabled. And once you're done with all of these here, click apply and okay, and we're good to go. Next up, you're gonna go again to Windows search bar, type in the game until you can find the game mode settings. Once you're in here, make sure the game mode from Windows directly is actually enabled since it can drastically improve your FPS. Then we're gonna go into graphics settings, make sure hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is actually enabled. It's going to reduce your latency and improve performance. And now finally, we also wanna add actually CS2 in here under the graphics performance preference settings. So what we wanna do is go into browse, then we're going to click under this PC, program files, then we're gonna search up Steam, go under Steam apps, then next up common. It by the way still says CSGO for whatever reason, but just simply open it up. Then we're gonna click here under the game folder, then under bin, Windows 64, and then we have the CS2 exit. Once you edit it guys, you're gonna click here under options and make sure to actually put it on the highest performance guys. Don't leave it under power saving or let Windows decide straight up high performance and then click under save.